Hi, good morning once again. I'm just, uh, as Dave and I have spoken at length sometimes about shelf cleans and old tanks and, and uh, using those, uh, like for instance, this case I was using the Panther for color and uh, figuring out what colors to use on our burnt out King Tiger. Um, I, I don't want, I want it right the first time on the King Tiger. So to fool around with the Panther is a wise idea. But where does the, not everybody has the Panthers just ready to roll. Um, what, one of the things you have to do is, this is a five-year-old tank. I've repainted it, but sometimes your modeling five years ago is not what it is today. So you have to remove um, off the paint. And the best, there's a few ways of doing that. There's easy lift off from testers, which is which is becoming hard to find. Um, but I also just use this oven cleaner, heavy duty oven cleaner from, you know, the grocery store. Now, using this, there's things of caution that you have to use. Certainly eye protection and that sort of stuff. Um, so just read the can where it says caution, read what it says gloves and protective eyewear and that sort of stuff you don't have to get a hazmat suit you don't have to do all that but just uh, the appropriate things that are labeled on your can of heavy-duty oven cleaners enough but all I'm gonna do and it's a two-day process so obviously for filming all I'm gonna do is show getting the uh, oven cleaner onto the model of course you're gonna need a, a plastic tub to put the model in and basically what I'm going to do is just cover it with this foam. It's going to eat into this plastic, but it's, it's, it's only going to attack the paint. When I take this out of here on our next visit, you're going to see a brand new Panzer III sitting here. So, and that's exactly the process I use for this Panther. This Panther was painted, like I say, five or six years ago. Um, it was one of those projects that went south. I probably put a weird camouflage pattern on that didn't work out and so um, moving forward on it I've turned it back into a you know a brand new Panther again so it's just a time-saving thing for for moving forward on some of these projects for instance I'm going to use this in an Italian little vignette um, maybe even filming you know towards the end of this year but in any event I'll just show you the process. I've washed it, I've put it under the sink, I've taken a toothbrush to it and got all the dust off it, and now all I'm going to do, I guess I should take the track off, but nevertheless, I'm going to just drop it in our little bin here, shake up our oven cleaner, so just take your oven cleaner, and just uh, all the instructions on the label, they're all somewhat similar. And the only thing you're going to need after this is a toothbrush. But this is going to take the decals down. Just bury it. It's been in a snowbank for weeks. And she's ready. I'm going to leave it there as the can talks about, leaving it over a night. And uh, off screen tomorrow, I'll sit here and clean it all up. And the next time you and I are together, you'll see a brand new uh, Panzer III. So it's just a little helpful hint as far as talking. Like I say, I've talked about shelf queens for a stretch of time now. And... Uh, just with, you know, a day's work, it, it certainly comes to a brand new tank rather rapidly. So make sure you remove all the dust, put this on, and just let, wait it out. And tomorrow we'll attack it with this little toothbrush and she'll sparkle. 
So thanks very much for watching, and we'll talk to you shortly. Thank you.